so let me begin with the practice of probation probation is a privilege granted by the court to a person convicted of a criminal offense to remain in the community instead of actually going to prison probation evolved as an alternative to imprisonment as a form of punishment it is actually the suspension of sentence of an offender by the court and releasing him or her on certain condition to live in the community with or without the supervision of a probation officer so what are the benefits of the practice of probation first of all it avoids the stigma of jail life and it reduces the ostracism faced by the convict and their family in the society and it aims at the reformation and reintegration of the offender by rehabilitating them to the society in short it is a solution for the overcrowding in the jail will which leads to the dehumanizing condition for prisoners coming to the role of probation officers in implementing the policy of probation role of probation officers in reforming the offender is paramount to the safety of the society because only an insightful and caring officer can change the behavior of an offender in another words the success of probation law largely depends upon the hard work commitment and dedication of the probation officer because they have to work closely with the various stakeholders such as magistrates police officers prison authorities and various non governmental organizations for the smooth functioning of the entire probation system in the year 1958 probation of offenders act was passed by the parliament in order to provide for the release of offenders on probation or after due admonition i would like to quote the words of the people's judge who believed in the modernization of criminal jurisprudence and criminal justice system by way of reformative justice the legendary justice v r krishnaya he once said the probation for the probation of offenders act is a legislative innovation true to his words it is proven that the probation of offenders act succeeded in instilling an enlightened interest in the bar and bench community towards these humane programs and practices i would like to say the role of kerala government in the practice of probation in implementing the practice and policy of probation it was in the year 1960 that the kerala probation of offenders rules was made by the government of kerala under the probation of offenders act 1958 in exercise of the powers conferred by section 17 of the probation of offenders act 1958 now the social justice department of kerala works high spiritedly to advance innovations in the arena of probation policies and it is exemplified by the jeevanam initiative of the social justice department jeevanam initiative was initiated by the department of social justice in order to strengthen the victim support services in the state of kerala besides it was instrumental in providing financial aid to the dependents as well as the victims of a crime the benefit of such a program was that it, it helped largely the victims and their families because it would cultivate a sense of simultaneous justice in the society while reforming the offender as well as providing assistance to the victim now what is the role of law and justice research foundation in implementing probation reforms law and justice research foundation is a society registered under the travancore cochin literary scientific and charitable societies registration act and it is an entity registered under niti aayog so lgrf plays a pivotal role in implementing the probation reform programs in the state of kerala it conducted various programs in association with the department of social justice during probation fortnight celebrations and justice v r krishnaya memorial lecture on probation day that is the birthday of justice v r krishnaya in 2020 and 2021 moreover lgrf became a part of the pan india awareness and outreach program from 2nd october 2021 to 14 november 2021 in association with the azadi ka amrit mahotsav and 
legal services week under the aegis of national legal services authority and district legal services authority tiruvananthapuram and district probation office trivandrum what is center for probation reforms and literacy what is lgr of center for probation reforms and literacy it is an initiative from the lgr of kerala state chapter the fundamental aim of center for probation reforms is providing capacity development programs for probation support teams consisting of police officers legal counselors law students msw students and social workers it aims to create awareness among law and social work students about the criminal justice system the importance of probation of offenders act and the benefits of probation it was initiated for the first time on november 15 2020 what are the objectives of center for probation reforms it primarily ensures the deliverance of a right based support system and proper assistance in the field of probation and it promotes literary programs on legal education as well as probation services it aims at the creation of efficient probation support team and it provides assistance to those eligible for the benefit of probation of offenders act it pioneers in providing free legal aid services through district legal services authority Moreover, Center for Probation Reforms has been organizing legal awareness at correctional homes by Law and Justice Research Foundation probation resource persons. The first of the kind of example of this is the classes conducted at correctional home department in Alappuzha by organized by District Probation Office Alappuzha in association with LGR of Center for Probation Reforms. it conducted a legal awareness program for imparting knowledge regarding probation of offenders act the classes were led by renita manuel sri lakshmi s arya vinayar aksha raj d litimon ms and annie rachel joseph and these lectures focused on probation nirvali and jeevanam projects of kerala government probation of offenders act and other services and schemes of social justice department for convicts ex convicts and probationers victims and their families moreover the focus point of these lectures were prison rules and rights of prisoners plea bargaining and parole premature release and home leave personality defects personality development techniques and motivation stories Currently, legal awareness classes for jail inmates at special sub jail Tiruvananthapuram and sub jail Neyattingara were taken by LGR of Resource Persons Advocate Sri Lakshmi S and Advocate Akshara J B. It was organized under the aegis of Social Justice Department and District Probation Office Tiruvananthapuram, and the NGOs, one is Blue Point Organization and the other one is Dale View, a social development agency in Tiruvananthapuram. they have associated with lgr for providing such awareness classes the broad focus points of these classes were probation of offenders act parole and plea bargaining rights of prisoners and legal aid services now a new initiative otherwise a new mission from the law and justice research foundation and center for probation reforms that is kerala state probation literacy mission LGR of Center for Probation Reforms in association with various NGOs in this field they proposed to flag a new mission named Kerala State Probation Literacy Mission the objectives of this mission are raising awareness among the under trial prisoners social workers and legal fraternity regarding the probation policy or about the core concepts of probation and to make them well versed with the various provisions of probation of offenders act and to make them understand the interrelation between probation and criminal justice system so in spite of all these we have some stumbling blocks or some defects in the existing probation policy the foremost among all these is the lack of vision which is apparent in the existing probation system and also the weak awareness about the benefits of effective probation among the major stakeholders and the public is one of the grave hurdles moreover 
Probation of Offenders Act 1958 and Kerala Probation of Offenders Rule 1960 are based on outdated concepts of control. They are not updated even. And currently there exists no mechanism to classify the offenders benefited under probation. Besides lack of a highly spirited, highly strengthened mechanism available to monitor, supervise and oversee probation activities poses a great threat. The weak interdepartmental synergy between key stakeholders such as judicial officers, probation officers, prison administrators, prosecutors, advocates and police. This is also one of the fundamental threats that is fatal to the implementation of probation policies. In addition to this, there are ample judicial precedents set by the Honorable Supreme Court in regard to granting probation according to probation laws and policies. But unfortunately, these are not duly followed by the judicial officers while sentencing the offender. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Uh, different news reported in Hindu, uh, which I, ca I consider it has a constitutional importance. And the second uh, issue reported by this uh, Hindu, uh, which is I think is a constitutional